So why do I believe that C++ is a bad first programming language to learn? Let me jump into some of the major points. So let me answer a couple of the uh, points that people bring up, the proponents of C++ as the first language. They say that when you do C++, you're going to learn the fundamentals of coding. You're going to understand some basic architecture, the backbone of all the languages. This is true. Uh, the problem is, is that C++ will dive you down into rabbit holes that you may not necessarily need to know, number one. Number two, a lot of the, well, not a lot, most of the programming languages out there will expose you to the uh, required, if you will, the required fundamentals that everybody needs to understand. So about variables and functions and iteration and design patterns, all these type of things, basic algorithms, I suppose, all these sorts of things are important, but they can be expressed whether it be in C++ or C Sharp or Java or JavaScript or Python or PHP, so, so on and so forth. Um, C++ does not have a monopoly on many, if not most, of the basic concepts. That said, there are certain things that you handle in C++, like memory management, which you don't have to do in these other languages, like a Python and a JavaScript, and even a Java and a C Sharp. But uh, memory management is something that for 99.9% .9 of programming, it's not something you should be concerned about in the first place, and in fact, I would assert for most programming, it's a waste of time. So another thing that you hear when people talk about learning C++ as the first language is that once you learn it, Python, JavaScript, C Sharp, Java will be a breeze. This is true, no doubting that. The problem is when learning C++ as the first language, that's gonna be a tremendous hurdle to uh, jump over to be able to, you know, to learn it is not trivial. Meanwhile, if you learn, let's say, Python as a first language or JavaScript as a first language, as an example, these easier to use languages and to learn languages, and far easier to learn in many respects, um, yes, you go from JavaScript, to go from JavaScript to Python will be a breeze as well because all of these languages share so many of the same constructs and concepts and principles once you understand, for example, what a function is, what a loop is, what a variable is, what an array is, you know what they are in all the languages. So C++ does not have a monopoly in the sense that if you learn C++, everything else becomes easy. Same thing if you learn Python, everything else becomes easy. If you learn C Sharp, everything else becomes easy. If you learn PHP, everything else becomes easy. That's not at all a unique aspect of C++. Bottom line is there's nothing wrong with C++. It has its uses, but because it's such an old legacy language, it also has a lot of problems as well. No language is perfect, but I think that with the great potential power and speed that you get with C++, you have a lot of complexity that comes with that. So there's a cost to it. So for example, AI is big now. Uh, they will write the core engines in a C++, but then they will write everything else in a Python or a JavaScript, a higher level language. And you can go find interviews with some of the biggest names in AI, and they will say, yes, if we did everything in C++, sure, it would be a little faster. Uh, it would be much faster than Python in terms of, uh, how should we say, compute cycles. But in practical in practical terms, in terms of us seeing a result, it won't make much of a difference. But the big difference will be, I've heard it, I've heard them say that if they did the whole thing in C++, it would take much, much longer to get anything done rather than doing most of the coding in a high level language that takes care of a lot of the details for you, like a Python, like a JavaScript. So uh, there you go. I hope this is useful to you. Um, Again, this is not a bash on C++, it's a good language, but it's one of those languages that uh, are that can be, for most people, troubling to learn. It's a, it's a heavy burden to learn as a first language. If you want to learn C++, because you want to get into core AI development or game engine development, or you want to write 
code for uh, small devices require a much more efficient uh, processing because they don't have they don't have a lot of memory or, or a lot of or, par, or powerful CPUs on board. Then sure, but I would learn C++ as a second language personally if you wanted to do that. And by the way, there's a bunch of concepts that you have to get yourself acquainted with in C++. Pointers comes to mind that have no relevance really in terms of modern application development with high level languages like a Java, like a C Sharp, like a JavaScript, like a Python, like a PHP. So again, well, that's it pretty much. You know, for me, if you're looking to learn a first language and you're attracted to the power of C++, learn Python first, learn JavaScript first, then go into C++. It will make your life so much easier. My name is Steph, so people call me Uncle Steph. I am a mentor. I am the world's oldest developer, 170 years old. And I mentor people in the ways of code and freelancing and entrepreneurship. Everything I teach is uh, based on personal experience. Thanks for watching.